Simplify. Write your final answer using only positive exponents. So to get us started, let's begin by recalling the properties of exponents. We have a power property of exponents, the product property of exponents, the quotient property of exponents, and the negative exponent property. So the first thing that we want to do here is apply that power of exponents properties and distribute the exponent negative 2. So we are distributing this exponent negative 2 through to each term in this expression. So each of the three terms in the numerator and that term in the denominator. And we can rewrite this expression as 2 to the negative 2 multiplied by x squared to the negative 2 multiplied by y to the first power now raised to the negative 2. And this is all divided by z to the negative 1 raised to the negative 2. And now this is still multiplied by the expression y cubed z to the sixth. So simplifying that first term, we can rewrite this as 2 to the negative 2. We have x to the 2 times negative 2, so x to the minus 4. We have y raised to the 1 times negative 2, which gives us a minus 2. And then in the denominator, we have z to the negative 1 times negative 2, which produces a positive 2. And now with this second expression, I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction and say that that's y cubed times z to the sixth power, all divided by 1. So now we're ready to go ahead and combine those like exponents using the product rule of exponents and the quotient rule of exponents. So using that step up above, we can see that we only have one constant, 2 to the negative 2. We only have one x, that's x to the negative 4. But we can see that we have two y's. We have y to the negative 2 times y cubed. So we can rewrite this as y to the negative 2 plus 3. We can also see that we have two z terms. We have z to the sixth by z squared. So we can rewrite this as z to the sixth minus 2. And simplifying here, this is still 2 to the negative 2, x to the minus 4, y to the first power, and then z to the fourth power. So then, last but not least, we need to remove the negative exponents. So looking up at our previous step, we have two negative exponents. We have 2 to the negative 2, and we have x to the minus 4. So we can rewrite this as y to the first, or just y, multiplied by z to the fourth. And this is now all over 2 squared times x to the fourth power. And we can simplify this, rewriting this as y times z to the fourth, all divided by 2 squared gives us 4 times x to the fourth. And this is our beautiful final answer.